pleasant good evening to one and all. Here again, I'm in the Glebe St. George, the Glebe area, here in the parish of St. George, which is just above St. George Parish Church. Just outside of the Glebe Park in it, and St. George is our fair office. So from here we can see down to St. George Parish Church. This is just down the hill here. St. George Parish Church and in the background is the fertile St. George Valley. So again I'm in the parish of St. George which is in the center of the island. St. George and St. Thomas are the two landlocked parishes in Barbados. They are referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. You can see St. George Parish Church, the tower for St. George Parish Church, which is just down below here. St. George Parish Church, which is the second oldest church in Barbados. St. George Parish Church was built in 1641 and we built in 1784. So it's the second oldest church in Barbados. St. George Parish Church Tower and in the background is the St. George Valley. So I'm gonna cross the road shortly. So this is the bus shelter here that's sponsored by Flo. And this is the Glebe Polyclinic and St. George Welfare Office here. And next door is the St. George Rectory, where the priest for St. George Parish Church lives. St. George, the Glebe Polyclinic and St. George Rectory over here. Yeah, um, Kyle. So now, I'm going to start and make my way. Up. We're not really up, 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 up. Make my way across the street. Up this hill here, we'll be leading you back to the line at Gun Hill. And the Gun Hill Signal Station. And back to Newberry. So the line at Gun Hill is just up the hill here. And the Gun Hill Signal Station. Uh, Walkers, St. George. So again, I'm in the beautiful parish of St. George. Here in Barbados. St. George. So again, I'm looking at the Glebe Polyclinic and St. George Welfare Office and the St. George Rectory next door where the priest lives. All the priests who serve St. George Parish Church lives at the rectory. So, again, I'm in the parish of St. George, which is in the center of the island, St. Thomas. St. George and St. Thomas are the two landlocked parishes in Barbados. Best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplift of Barbados. So there is no scene or coasting in these parishes. There are two landlocked parishes in Barbados. Best referred to as the heart of Barbados mm -hmm. or the central uplift of Barbados. St. George is also my father's birth parish. St. George is the parish in which my father was born and raised. For those of you who don't know who my father is, that's more that sings, or that used to sing years ago with the Santa Pebbles. Around this time now, you'll be hearing his music on the radio, or regularly, because this is November, which is our independence month here in Barbados. So you'll be hearing my father's music a lot on the radio stations. He used to write songs from Randy Ali, Shara Hackett, Yahoo Peacock, and many others. So, St. George 
is the third largest parish in Barbados, St. George was charged out of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael is the mother parish and St. George was carved out of it. Looking up the hill now. Again, which will be leading you back to the land of Glen Hill. Glen Hill Signal Station, Newberry, Tate Hill and Workman. You can see the Glen Hill Signal Station on top of the hill here. The highest point in this St. George Parish. The Glen Hill Signal Station was established in 1880 as a fortress to signal when the enemies were coming in. It now is owned and operated by the Barbados National Trust and it is it, it, it's open to the public. It gives awesome views of six out of the 11 parishes in Barbados. The Gun Hill Signal Station is 700 feet above sea level. So St. George is an agricultural parish. It is also a rural parish and it offers, and it is the very basket parish of Barbados. The parish that fed many Barbadians from the 1600s up until this present day. So St. George is most part of the parish. So about the polyclinic, the polyclinic is now renamed after Frederick Freddy Miller who was a member of parliament for St. George for 18 years from 1948 to 1966. Frederick Freddy Miller was the father of Dame Billy Miller who was the member of parliament for the city of Bridgetown. So father and daughter are two politicians. Frederick Freddy Miller was a member of parliament for St. George for 18 years from 1948 to 1966. Five Grant St. George was one community. Yeah, I'm burning. Five Grant St. George was one community before it was divided into St. George North and St. George South. So this is St. George North now that I'm in. And this is one of the most busiest parts of St. George in that it is really connected to the Charles Road Bridge area. Charles Road Bridge, which is referred to as the capital of St. George because it is where most of the amenities in the parish are located. Charles Road Bridge is just below the Gleep, below St. George Parish Church. Charles Road Bridge has the gas station, it has the, uh, the, it has the gas station, it has the Chocolate restaurant, the Bridge Supermarket, the Stump Hardware other stores and of foreign businesses in it that help to make it up to be the capital of St. George. George is a rural parish. Come back up the hill again. Come back up to the to the Gun Hill Signal Station on top of on top of this hill here. It's 700 feet above the level. St. George is the most vibrant part other than the other side which is the quieter part like St. George South 
like Ellerton and Buckley on that side, which is more quieter and has more greenery. But this part here is quieter. This part here is much busier and bustling. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.